say I'm willing, yeah. Cause I'm the one who's gonna show. At Ohio University, after, after the first two years living in the dorm, we were then asked to find off-campus housing, whether it be in an apartment or a house. Whether we pay these rental fees and loans or from our parents or out of pocket, it is always a struggle, especially when we're paying our college dues. This video, we asked certain students about their stories and how they pay and if they believe the rental fees are too high. First, we decided to interview a student who is currently living off campus at Palmer Place. We wanted to ask her her feelings behind the rent she pays and the facility that she lives in. How much do you pay a quarter? I pay, currently I pay $18.95 per quarter. That includes all four quarters of the school year. Do you think that's a fair price? Yes and no. Well, just because this is like, unless this is like a new apartment complex, it's not that old, the apartments are nice. Um, and it's nicely furnished, except for the stuff that they're made with a little bit cheap, but the maintenance people are supposed to come fix it. Also, it's kind of like, it's not that far away from Kansas, you can still walk to classes, but it is kind of far away. The price, I feel like, is a little bit expensive considering I know you can get cheaper prices on Court Street, which are even closer to campus. Would you live here again next year? Um, yeah, I already saw my lease live here again. Unfortunately, they make you resign your lease very early in the year, like in September, so it's kind of like a, a rush decision, but I am living here again. I'm happy because we do like it here. And actually the prices are going down next year, but only $100 a quarter, which is not that much, um, but still. Next, we decided to interview Brian Wharton, who works for the Division of Ohio Realty on Court Street. We asked him questions about his reason reasoning behind the fees that they charge students when they sign leases to live on off-campus apartments and houses. Year to year? It doesn't fluctuate too much. I mean, uh, with the economy the way it is right now, um, you know, we've not been increasing rents a whole lot, you know. So, I mean, like everything else, I mean, uh, we're not increasing, you know, um, the rents as much as we may have been able to in the past. And um, do you receive a lot of complaints about the cost of rent when people are signing their leases or anything like that? No. Um, again, I mean, we don't force people to sign a lease. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? They they find a place that they like, and then they come in and they, and, and we tell them the rent and uh, the requirements for renting it. And you know, sometimes we you know we welcome uh, calls from mom and dad if they have any questions. We have our lease online. They can look over that, ask us any questions. I mean, we have a, um, we go through uh, like a 30 minute video that they watch, 25 minute video that goes over the lease, and then we answer any questions there before we sign the lease. I mean, we want all of our tenants to uh, understand fully the commitment that they're making. So, you know, we don't, uh, you know, I don't want to rent something to someone if they don't, if they're not comfortable renting it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, uh, no, I don't think there's any complaints there. Okay. Okay. Last, we interviewed student Megan Krasnowak, who lives at the Summit, which is also an off-campus housing site, to see her feelings on what she pays to rent out her apartment. Hi, what's your name? Megan Krasnowak. And where do you live? The Summit. Um, what do you think about the pricing at the Summit? Do you think it's fair for students? And no, in general, it's way too high. really, um, why? Like, do you think it's not nice enough, or just it's location? Nice thing, but like, they catch you. They know that you have to live off campus or at least around OU, mm -hmm. so they jack all the prices. Do you think there's any way that they'd ever be able to change this? No, it's a monopoly. <laughs> Everyone wants to get money out of everybody. Everybody's yeah, crazy. there's no way they change it. Do a lot of your friends have problems paying for their rent yeah, at all? Yeah, I do. I do. And then we get like a thirty-five dollar fee if you don't pay the day that you don't pay. Mhm. Mm do you think they should make an exception for students? Yeah, I think they should make an exception for students because it's not fair for us paying for school and housing on top of it. 